welcome along to Bloon Tube again and uh, this week it's going to be now this design I've been making for quite a while actually and it's still one of my favourites I don't quite know why but I just like this one and it's a handbag here we go it's a little uh, shell handbag all right it's just two balloons uh, 160 in white and uh, 260 in the um, wild berry there I've done but any colour combination I'm sure would look lovely so here we go you get your 260 inflate it uh, four fingers that's all you need and then your 160 oh, uh, you need um, about five fingers uh, uninflated on there and uh, tie these together all right. there you are. and then I tie uh, one knot on one side take the uh, two balloons round to the other side and tie another knot I then get rid of all the excess here and um, we're going to cut it off and I've got myself a pair of scissors here you go rather than the <laughs> if you've watched any others I always use my teeth that I thought we'd that there you go so now then uh, you've got to split this um, four finger bubble in half and uh, some people find this a little bit tricky so a little tip is tie a knot at the other end because if you split that in half and they, it keeps moving away the balloon so just put a little knot in there Right, and then that makes it a little bit easier for splitting that into two. There you go, and get that the same size. Get the, the two knots together, press that around nice and tight, and take the um, 260 over the top and twist that into two pinch twists. That goes around a couple of times. So that's going to be the top of your handbag. There you go. Um, now we need a, a five finger bubble here. So squeeze the air along a bit, make it a little bit softer. You need a, a five finger bubble. And then uh, come back again with another five finger bubble. So just measure it. You can measure it back the same size as this one or just put your hand there again and get a, a five finger bubble. All right, and this one will go around um, the pinch twist. So that's going to be this balloon now coming down the side is going to be the edge of the handbag. Uh, we do it in a five finger bubble because the, the balloon comes over the top, it looks like it's smaller. So uh, do this one in a five finger bubble. We then need a one finger bubble, which is your spacer bubble. And uh, the second twist here goes into this section here. We have to push that through. And um, once that comes into there, we lock that in and go around again and push it through those two double five finger bubbles that locks it in so it can't come undone so this is going to be your edge of your handbag the next bubbles coming along are going to be the center of the handbag so you need another spacer bubble and then i do a six finger bubble just make it a little bit longer so, uh, make sure that's a six finger bubble there uh, that goes around the top of the two pinch twists and, uh, Squeeze air along a bit, another six finger bubble. Again, you've got to tie it into here. So I go over the top and come back through here and it's all tied up in one uh, in one go rather than doing it twice. It makes it a little bit quicker. So that comes over the top and then back, uh, just so you can see there. That goes through there. <laughs> Not quite so, hang on, there you go. There you go, that goes through there, and we pull that back of itself. And that's the center of the um, bag, and then you just need to match up the two sides again. So another one finger bubble, a five finger bubble, uh, back into the uh, two pinch twists. Uh, come back down, another five finger bubble and again if that goes over the top hopefully the tile can do it a bit smoother this comes through there there you go why can't I do that last time <laughs> yeah. and then you need another um, spacer bubble and your last five finger bubble so measure it there you go and then uh, that goes round your uh, two pinch press at the top and then deflate the rest of um, you could actually twist that over and have that as like the buckle of your handbag but uh, I'm just going to deflate it with my favourite method so it should look a little bit 
like that. If the pinch twist goes sideways on, there's your uh, shell. And then this is your handle. Just take hold of the other end of the 260. Wrap it around a couple of times. Push it through to the top of the bag underneath. That doesn't get noticed. And then uh, just adjust it. So you've got, um, just a little bit more, there you go. So there's your little shell handbag. Hope you like it, and um, as I say, this has always been one of my favourites. Uh, I'm not sure why, but there you go. So uh, thanks for watching. If you could subscribe, that'd be great, and we'll see you another time. Bye for now.